All right, so we got we have hypothesis testing here, and this is a pro for a proportion p, and it will be a right-tailed test. Okay, so the claim the claim about p that's going to be our null hypothesis. This is what we this is the this is what we they say p is. Okay, that's your null hypothesis. So p equals some number k. And we believe P is greater than the value stated in the null hypothesis H naught. So we'll so our alternate hypothesis H sub one, we're saying, well, you know what, we think P might be greater than K. Alright, and then we need our sample test statistic, and that'll be Z. Z would be P hat minus P over the square root of P times Q over N, where P hat is R over N and q hat is 1 minus p hat. Okay? And and r is equal to the number of successes. Okay? r is the number of successes. n is equal to the number of trials and p is the proportion specified in the null. And also q would be 1 minus this p. Okay? And so the number of trials n, they should be large enough so that both n times p is greater than 5 and n times q is greater than 5. Okay. Now when we say r is the number of successes, I'll explain that when we get into the problem. I'll explain these even more. Okay. So now how to conclude a test using the p-value and level of significance the level of significance alpha. The level of significance that will be given to you, that's usually like 1%, 5%, you know, something like that. So if the uh, if the p-value is less than or equal to alpha, we reject the null hypothesis and say the data are statistically significant at the level alpha. If the p-value is greater than alpha, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. Okay, so let's let's come over here and take a look at our problem. So it says USA Today reported about 47% of the general consumer population in the U.S. is loyal to the automobile manufacturer of their choice. So suppose Chevy did a study of a random sample of 1,006 Chevy owners and found that 490 said they would buy another Chevy. Does this indicate that the population proportion of consumers loyal to Chevy is more than 47 percent? Okay, so so USA Today is saying okay 40 percent of the general consumer population in the US is loyal to the automobile manufacturer of their choice. That's that's the claim they're making that 47 percent are loyal. Well, Chevy comes along and does a study to see who's loyal to them, and they say, okay, we're going to pick a thousand, a thousand six people, and of those 1,006, 490 said they would buy another Chevy, okay? So, the, the null hypothesis, the claim about P, is that P is 0.47. This is the claim they're making. But we're coming back and saying, well, you know what? We did a study that showed of the 1,006 people that we test, that we surveyed, 490 said that they would buy from us again. So we're thinking that this should be higher. So we want to test the claim that P is greater than 0.47. All right, so let's see. First, let's look at this. We have, well, we know that P is equal to 0.47. Q is 1 minus P, so 1 minus 0.47, so that would be, what, 0.53. And so we have N times P, okay? Well, what's N? That's 1,006 times P. And, of course, that's going to be more than 
0.5 we can see that without having to put that in the calculator but we'll go ahead and do it that's uh, 472.82 which is greater than 5 and then n times q which is 1006 times 0.53 and we know that's going to be larger we'll go ahead and see what that is that's 533.18 and that's greater than 5 also all right, so we're good there. N times P and N times Q are both larger than 5. All right, now we need our, uh, our test statistic. So we have Z. Well, remember, that's P hat minus P over the square root of P times Q over N. Okay. Well, let's see. P hat is remember that's r over n the number of successes well what's the number of successes well that's the 490 people that said they would buy from them again so r is 490 over the number we tested which is 1006 so 490 divided by 1006 is i'll round to two decimals 0.49 that's pretty close what they came up to. So, so that's P hat. Well, and we know that P, we got that up here, that's 0.47. And we've already figured out Q, which is 0.53. And N is equal to, well, that's the 1,006. So now all we do is plug everything into here. And so we get Z is equal to p hat 0.49 minus p 0.47 over the square root of p 0.47 times q 0.53 over n 1006 and let's see what we get when we punch them all right so i get 1.27 I rounded it to two decimal places. All right, so what we're doing is we're making the claim that P is larger than the 0.47. All right, so this is a right-tailed test. And see, here's our 1.27, our Z value. And we're making the claim that it's larger. Okay, so this is a right tail test so we need the area to the right of this number okay so my p value is the probability z is greater than 1.27 okay so let's go to our z table and look this up all right, so here we are. So we want the probability that Z is greater than 1.27. That's what we're looking for. Well, remember, when you look up your Z, Z value, okay, you look up your Z score, that gives you the area to the left. Well, we want the area to the right. Well, remember, the entire area under the curve is 1. So if we look up our z value, that gives us this area. Well, if we do 1 minus this area, that will give us the area to the right. So this is going to be 1 minus, because see, this z value, that's our 1.27. And we look that up, that's going to give us this area to the left. So we do 1 minus this area will give us this. So the 1.27... Okay, so there's 1.2, and we want 1.27, so there it is, 1.27, okay? So that is this value right here, okay? See, there's your 1.27, so that's minus 0 0.8980, so 1 minus 0 0.8980 gives us... Point one zero two. 
All right, so our p value is 0 0.102. All right, so now we need to compare this to our level of significance. All right, so we've got alpha is 0 0.01, okay? And alpha is 0 0.01, so you can see that our p value is definitely larger than that. That's less, that's greater than 0 0.01. 0 0.01 is our alpha. So since our p-value is larger than alpha, we fail to reject the null. Okay. So what does it mean? So it means at the 1% level, because they told us alpha is 0 0.01, so if we move the decimal to the right two places, that's our 1%. There is insufficient, insufficient evidence su to support the claim that the population proportion of customers loyal to Chevy is more than 47%. So we don't, don't have enough evidence to make the claim that the customers that are loyal to a particular brand is more than 47%. Okay. And I mean, and you saw when we, when we calculated this, I mean, it was actually 0.48 something and it rounded up to 0.49. So it wasn't very far off from 47. So I hope this helped. Uh, I have I have other videos on hypothesis testing where we do hypothesis, hypothesis testing on the mean, where sigma is known, unknown, and of course the proportions here. And I've got the left tail, right tail, two tail. I have all those. They're all just in separate videos because you can see they run, all of them run over 10 minutes. So I just decided to do them all in separate videos. All right, so hope this helped. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.